Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about NEO, related events or news to this company, why I think it's right now very very underrated and on sale and I'll just give you my thesis and theories backed by some articles I found and which I found myself 100% agreement and as well as give you why this stock should see very good uprise in the near term, mid term and long term with the new stimulus package, current market conditions and the future outlook. If you like to see and hear more information like that, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos as well as smashing the like button helps me out to get this video to as many people as possible. With that being said, let's get into this company. As we can see, as any other company, on Friday it was bleeding, for past 5 days it's been bleeding, for past month it's been bleeding, for past month 40% and if we switch to 6 month chart, we can see this fall is not that big as for example with XPeng, just 40% down from our current highs, because this company didn't skyrocket it that much as XPeng, so, you know, the quicker they rise, the harder they fall or something like that, I don't know if that's even a saying, but it would apply nicely to NEO and XPeng, you see NEO has more of a sustainable growth, however XPeng skyrocketed quite quickly and I think the correction is now putting it into the right place and it should most likely have the similar way of growth as NEO because NEO has very healthy uh, state of growth you see it went really slowly but surely up if we switch to the one year chart we can see that from the point of bankruptcy it went down you know it were some bigger bigger jumps but other than that it went quite steadily up and then from the October when the EV stocks were like in their prime it just exploded but it was a part of the hype and the hype wasn't wasn't that big you know there were some ups and downs which is always good to see if you are look to enter into long-term positions but now to the news a lot of people talk about neo or xbank or any other ev company as that it's going to be the next tesla but let's be real there is not going to be any new tesla or next tesla tesla is only one and the others just snatch a piece of the total addressable market which is always good that there's going to be some competition because competition is a healthy thing and what is very good for neo is that they unveiled a new model et77 which expands their uh, market opportunity in china or even worldwide and they as well plan to expand into europe and the us but with donald trump being the president it wasn't really a possible thing but now with joe biden it really opens up for the economic to you know prosper way more than it was before however neo came with a very groundbreaking innovation they broke the norm with an option to buy electric cars without batteries instead letting users rent the battery for a monthly fee. This is what I like that they have something unique that it's not that just copy paste but you know each car each company has something specific something unique which I like about them and I don't think that if you buy Tesla, Neo or Xpeng in the long term you I, I don't think you will make a mistake if you buy it and hold it for five years I think you'll be fine with any of these picks you know some will do more percent percentage gains some will do less but at the end you will not I don't think you will lose money in five years Tesla and Neo have sold off but I don't know why they're not mentioning Xpeng because it has it has been sold off for about 60 50 percent which is huge and it offers even bigger buying opportunity however this video is about Neo they claim that the Chinese EV companies are just scratching the surface of total addressable demand in China and I don't think he's, he's too far away from the truth it is very nice explained or shown how the company sold off for the past month. As we can see Xpeng leads with minus 40%, then is Neo behind for the minus 30 and Tesla with 25. Some analysts say that in the short term China will be lin linchpin of growth for the EV market with eye-popping demand in 2021 and 2022, giving Tesla with its Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai a major competitive advantage. However, I think they still don't realize that, you know, uh, people from the country, I don't know, wherever it is, uh, they will love their domestic products. It doesn't matter if it's if it's phone, it's a TV, it's a technology company, it's a car company. They will most they will still be people who will be supporting their country brand. I don't know if they're just. Uh, accounting that in the matter but I just want to point this out and there's been very it's like few hours ago there's been a new article on seeking alpha get ready to buy these three EV stocks while they are on sale uh, this article is about Tesla Neo and Xpeng so perfectly what I'm about to tell you and show you and in this and previous video so what made this company Neo an interesting buy point to recap the prior up upbeat take news short-term performance will be impacted by chip and battery constraints with monthly 
production run rate expected to decrease by 25% to 7,500 units for the second quarter, dampening quarter over quarter growth from first quarter expected 20,000 to 20,500 to just 22,500 units. However, constraints are forecast to ease through second half of this year, allowing capacity to run back up to 9,000 to 10,000 units. This could push up second half delivery significantly to 55,000 units, giving a full year forecast of 95,000 units to 105,000 units. Therefore, we can see that in the, even in the midterm, it makes a no-brainer buy if you get this this company right here right now. Even in this article, the author you know proves you right that the demand remains very strong. But you know, it's not everything perfect. There's also some risk, such as the price competition is also a risk to be aware for Neo. And, but although it does have government backing due to the poster child intent to create a world leading player in EV, the government cannot force citizens to buy NEO's cars instead of competitors, hence the threat from Tesla looming after price reductions. But I still think NEO is targeting the right niche which not any other EV company has targeted. Uh, you know, this makes it special in my eyes and each of these three companies has something unique, so if you own all of all three of them, I think you are, you are the best equipped long-term investor out there. And last but not least, I wanted to point out their financials here on Yahoo Finance is a very nice graph which shows you their progress. So if you look at 2017, it's just negative revenues, but from 2018, they, they got revenues very nicely increasing and you know 2020 was their breaking point and we can see that most importantly the earnings are getting better and better still negative but you know time will show how you know good they will get but if we switch to quarterly financials we can see the revenues are uh, steadily increasing but their earnings are somewhat the same that's because they are still expanding and they're trying to you know balance things out but you know time will show and time will tell i believe and during the neo day the ceo said ceo and founder said when they are planned to be i believe profitable so you know feel free to check it out but i just wanted to point out that they are looking quite well from the financial side and they are still if compared to a year ago and they are now backed by the government so this really puts the company in quite a good spot so that was my current take on neo i think they are now a very very attractive sale i would definitely buy a few shares unfortunately i'm not that rich person so the, the most i can do is just share this information about this company and what I, what are my thoughts and opinions again i'm not a financial advisor this been this is just for entertainment purposes only always do your own due diligence or contact your nearest financial advisor i hope i brought to you some value if i did definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new upcoming videos as well as smashing the like button really helps me out with the youtube algorithm and it's absolutely for free also let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts and opinions did you sell out because of the current downfall did you buy more because you believe in the company in the long term i'm all ears with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video